Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 8, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to focus on order entry. We started building a simple order form in a previous class, and that was primarily so we could send out collection letters when we were building our letter writing system. In today's class, we're going to continue building on that order entry system by adding line item details and totals. The first thing that we're going to do in lesson one is to go over the homework assignment from the last class. If you took the previous class, Access Expert 7, you'll recall that we built a form showing a single product and then all of the vendors who supplied that product. Your homework assignment was to go in the opposite direction, show a vendor and all of the products supplied by that one vendor. That's what we're going to see in the first lesson today. Then we're going to learn about calculated query fields. In order to calculate the total for our line items, we need to be able to multiply unit price times quantity. You buy two items at $10, that's $20. So we're going to learn how to do calculations inside our queries. We're going to learn how to calculate sales tax for each of our line items. We're going to learn a new function called the IF function, immediate IF, I-I-F, the if function allows us to perform an if-then conditional expression inside of our queries. We'll use that to say, hey, if this item is not taxable, like a gallon of milk, then don't charge sales tax. We're going to learn the proper way to round values off to prevent fractional penny errors. You're going to learn about something that Access does called banker's rounding, which isn't the traditional rounding you might be used to from high school. And then finally, we'll put it all together. We'll build an order form where you can pick a customer, set the order information, a subform within it that has all the line item details where you can pick a product, the unit price is automatically populated, the sales tax is calculated, and your order totals are calculated automatically on the bottom. This will be the foundation for the order entry and inventory system that we'll be building throughout this series of classes. This class follows Access Expert Level 7. It is strongly recommended that you watch Level 7 and all of the previous classes in the series before proceeding with today's lessons. To purchase a copy of Level 7, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. This class was designed to be used with Access 2013. If you're using 2007 or 2010, you shouldn't have any problems following along as the three versions are almost identical. If you do happen to come across something that's significantly different, please email me and let me know. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should be able to follow along with the lessons covered today. Most of the material is pretty much the same. There's no exact match for this class in my older lessons. The material that I'm covering today has come from several different lessons and there's some new stuff added in. I used to not cover order entry at all until my advanced lessons, Access 301. However, now I've decided to move some of the material into the expert series. So this is kind of a, a patchwork of material covered from various other classes. But you should be able to follow along. The menus are a little different, but the rest of the stuff's all the same. You are strongly encouraged to build the database that I build in class. It's the best way to learn. However, if you're lazy like me, go ahead and download it from my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. The Beginner lessons are designed to give you a basic overview of the simple features of Access. The Expert series, the one you're in now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. The Advanced lessons cover working with macros, automation, and many more advanced features. And the Developer lessons get into programming with Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. Each of the series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. The beginner series, for example, had levels 1 through 9. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all of these seminars and more 
on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In the last class, Access Expert 7, we built a form with a subform so we could see the product and all of the vendors we purchased that product from. Our homework for today was to reverse that, was to build a vendor form where we can see all of the products that vendor supplies. In lesson one, we'll review my solution for the homework and we'll learn a few new things as well. In lesson two, we're going to do some more work on our order entry system. We're going to create a table to track line items called the order details table and a query to go with it. In lesson three, we're going to learn how to create calculated query fields. We'll take the unit price, multiply it by the quantity to get the extended price for that line item. In lesson four, we're going to learn how to calculate sales tax. We're going to learn about the if function and we're going to learn how to properly round numbers. In lesson five, we're going to build our order detail subform, the line items that you'll see on the order form. We'll set up a combo box to pick a product, lock the unit price so the user can't change it, and we'll set up the relationships between our customer and order table and also our order and order details tables. In lesson six, we're going to set up our main order form We'll learn about the isNull function and lots of little other tricks.